Good afternoon, everybody. Today we are going to talk about a problem in sampling distribution. So I'll share my computer screen with you. The average salary of a school teacher is 35,441 with a population standard deviation of 5,100. Find the probability that the salary of a randomly selected teacher exceeds 45,000. Part B for a sample of 75 teachers, find the probability that the mean salary exceeds 38,000. So part A, so let's solve the problem. Solution part A, so use TI-84 calculator. So part A, part A, the picture is like this. This is X, teacher's salary on the horizontal axis, salaries. The center, where the relative frequency is highest, that center mu is equal to 35,441. 35, and the spread in the distribution is 5,100. Okay. They want us to find the probability that a teacher's salary exceeds 45,000. So the mean is 35,441 over here. And four. so 45,000 is definitely greater than 35,000, will be on the right of 35,441, which is the mean, and we want to find this area. Okay, so we will use the calculator. So we will press the second key, and then we will press the worst key in the calculator, which is in the third row. Then we scroll down to number two, which is normal CDF. Okay, so my lower boundary is from where I'm starting. I'm starting from 45,000. My upper boundary is a very large number on the right. Very large number on the right which is 1E99. E stands for exponent or 10 to the power of 99. So first I type 1 for the upper, and then I press the second button. Then the comma button. Where is the comma button, you ask? It's on top of the 7 button. This will give me the small capital E. And then I type in number 99. As I said, 1E99 means 10 to the power of 99, or 1 followed by 99 zeros. My mean is 35,441. My sigma is 5100. Zero, zero. And then I go on PEST. When I'm on PEST, put the cursor on PEST and hit enter and enter twice. Enter and enter. Okay, so let's do it. Second verse, normal CDF. Second verse, number two, normal CDF. My lower, I'm starting from 45,000. My upper is a very large number. So first I type 1, and then I press the second button. Then the comma button, which is on top of number 7 button, gives me the small capital E, then 99. My mean is 35,441. My standard deviation is 5,100. I paste, enter, and enter. So probability of X, which is teacher salary, 
greater than 45,000 is very low, is 0 0.030. Notice this is less than 0 0.05. So by rule of thumb, since probability of x greater than 45,000 is less than 0 0.05, the event x greater than 45,000 is unusual. We note, okay? So summarize what I'm doing. I'm trying to find the area to the right of 45,000. I'm going to use my calculator. Second verse two is normal CDF. My lower boundary is 45,000. My upper boundary is 10 to the power of 99 or one followed by 99 zero, which is one capital E, which is one second button. Then comma button gives me the capital E 99. My mean is 35,441. My standard deviation is 5100. I bring the cursor on pest, enter and enter. And I get the answer as probability x greater than 45,000 is 0 0.03, which is less than 0 0.05. So the event x greater than 45,000 is unusual because its probability is less than 0 0.05. So this is part A. Now, Part B is slightly different. Okay. Part B, I'm dealing with the mean probability distribution of X bar. Probability distribution, ability distribution of X bar. Not X anymore. Or sampling distribution. Okay, and from central limit theorem, so let me move this a little bit more. Since n sample size is 75 greater than 30, Use central limit theorem. Central limit theorem. Which states that mu x bar is equal to mu is equal to 35,441. Mu x bar. Okay. And sigma x bar is equal to sigma divided by square root of n which is in my calculator 5100 for sigma divided by i press the second button then i press the x square button to get the square root inside the square root i type the sample size of 75 and enter so sigma x bar is equal to 5100 divided by second button the next square button gives me the square root inside the square root 75 and hit enter so sigma x bar is 580 let me clear that and write it again so that it is not on so sigma by square root of n is equal to 588.897. So if I move this a little bit and draw this okay, draw the probability distribution, the sampling distribution looks like this. Sampling distribution is tall and thin 
okay and it's center where the peak is the highest so we have x bar on the horizontal axis instead of x for the sampling distribution and mu x bar which is the center this is your mu x bar is equal to mu is equal to 35 441 and sigma x bar is equal to 588.897 and if i go up a little bit the part b question was fine for a sample of 75 teachers find the probability the mean salary exceeds 38000 okay so if I go back here, 35,541 in the center. So this will be somewhere over here is your 38,000. So you want to find this area to the right of 38,000. So this particular value is 38,000. Okay. And we remove this. We want to find probability X bar is greater than 38,000. So again, second verse two, number two, which is normal CDF. My lower, I'm starting from 38,000. My upper is 1E99 because I'm way in the right over here someplace. Okay. Upper is 1E99, 38,000. My mu is still 35, 441. But I have to be careful about what I type for sigma. Sigma is sigma x bar. Standard deviation of the sampling distribution is 588.897. And I pest, enter, and enter, enter, and enter. So P X bar greater than 38,000 is equal to second verse to um, starting from 38,000. My upper is 1E99, my mean is still 35,441, but my standard deviation is no longer 5,100. It is 588.897. And I paste, enter, and enter. Ooh, that's 8.95. Probability cannot be greater than 1. So there is a E minus 6 at the end which is 0 0.000, 000. the six minus six means the first number eight is at the sixth place after the zero is almost equal to zero. What does it mean in practical? So I'll write it down. So I'll move this a little bit. So probability that the sample mean of 75 student uh, teachers exceed exceeds 38000 is almost zero and that is what we conclude so again, to summarize, what did we do in this one? This is where we have selected a sample of 75 students and what I want to find the probability that the sample mean of 75 students as uh, 75 teacher salary exceeds 38,000. That means on the right of 38,000. And so we have to use the sampling distribution of X bar. So mu x bar by central limit theorem is equal to mu is equal to 35,441. 
and sigma x bar is sigma divided by square root of n, which is the pro, uh, standard deviation of the sampling distribution is 588.897. Now we want to find out what is the probability to the right of 38,000. So my lower is 38,000, my upper is 1E99, my mu is 35,441, but my sigma is 588.897. And the probability that the sample mean exceeds 38,000 is almost zero, okay? So this is where I'm going to stop. If you have any question or comment, you can always write me a note and I'll get back to you as soon as I read the note. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. I'll be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Do not forget, please, to watch me next time, okay? When I'll come back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. So I will see you next time. Thanks for giving me the time to discuss this problem with you. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.